What is up, you beautiful bunch? Welcome back to the channel. We're on the 50p coin hunt again today. We've got ourselves 250 pound in bagged up bags, not sealed bags, unfortunately. But last time we had these sort of bags, we found three Olympics. Hopefully we can have some similar luck today. There's just one Olympic we need to complete the collection. It's actually Paralympic uh, wheelchair rugby. Other than that, of course, we still need the Kew Gardens as well. Just those two now to finish this whole collection off. And it's been a long time coming. Some progress would be nice, but when you're stuck on these last few, it is hard going. Let's see what this bag has got in store for us. Hopefully, lots of commemorative as well. Second coin in and we've got a commemorative coin. That's a good start. It is a fairly common one in the representation of the People Act. Nine million minted from 2018. But we're off to a good start. It's something. Ooh. We will, of course, double check through all of these coins again after the hunt, as I always do, just in case I might have missed anything. And also checking for any errors, or especially those low minted shields, or even better, the NIFC shields. Those 2009, 10, 11, 16, and 18 shields, like this but only came in the collector's sets for that year. So if we find them this way up during the hunt, we don't tend to flip them over and I check them all at the end. It's been a long time since we found an NIFC though. We did find one on the channel once. A long time ago now. We're long overdue one, so you never know. <laughs> I have only ever found two in total. One in a hunt and one from change in a shop, believe it or not. In fact, the guy held out all of his 50Ps in his hand. Uh, it was just a random shop when I went in, asked if he had any picture coins. He held his whole handful out and I spotted a, I think it was a 2010 date. Uh, and it was a shield. I was gobsmacked, couldn't believe it. <laughs> the guy in the shop was suitably confused when I uh, swapped a normal looking 50P with him for another normal looking 50p but <laughs> there we go there's tom kitten from the 2017 beatrix potter set all the 2017s pretty common 2020 diversity built britain is another fairly common find but at least we're finding stuff we have as per usual got a few questions to get into left in the comments section of previous hunts Here's another 2017 with 50 pence on the obverse and a second Tom Kitten. Unusual. They are common, but I usually find two in such quick succession. But yeah, we've got a few comments or questions to get into and everything from today is from this video. We have question number one from Monty788. And Monty is asking, do you think that the modern one pound will ever be earmarked for a commemorative design? Hmm, wow, another Tom Kitten. It's a great question and I wish it's something I knew the answer to. Um, I don't see it happening though, unless they're gonna call, call it a day on commemorative 10 Ps. Maybe they'll try the pound coins, but there's a Johnson's Dictionary. Third most common of all of the commemorative 50Ps. Um, I could see it happening. I could also not see it happening. <laughs> of course, the old round pounds had commemorative designs, lots of different series from bridges to the capital cities to the floral designs and the heraldic beasts. So it wouldn't be that revolutionary to see it happen. There's the tale of Peter Rabbit. Um, there was a time when there were, of course, commemorative 50Ps, two pounds and one pounds in circulation, not that long ago. Um, so yeah, it would be nice, wouldn't it? But I personally don't think it'll happen. It's certainly not in the next few years, maybe in the distant future. But for now, I don't see it happening. 
especially considering they're not circulating most of these commemorative coins anyway these days. Why include another denomination when you can just keep pumping out 50p's and two pounds constantly? There's another diversity built Britain. I think we'd all just love to see anything commemorative in circulation a bit more often. Oh, there's a nice one we don't see too often. It's an overseas territory, the Bailiwick of Jersey, which of course is the Channel Islands. And there's one really scarce date on this, and that is not it. 2009, we certainly already got that. But we'll pop it in the keepers section. They're above face value. Uh, you don't, you're not supposed to find them in UK change, but they do pop up now and again. Here's Mr. Benjamin of Bunnies, the most common of all the 50Ps in circulation. Remember, it runs 25 million in each, 25 million of these. But you've got to check for a die rotation. That one's okay. Worth a look though, if you find one where the queen isn't correctly aligned, they're changing hands for about 30 or 40 quid. Last time I checked. Right, let's get cracking through these coins. We do have more questions. We have one from to coin a phrase. And he is asking, have you ever, have you not fancied doing a, two, a 10p session? I can't talk today. Have you not fancied doing a 10p session? Now this is in response to my uh, plea, if you will, to let me know what sort of videos you guys want to see on the channel. Um, so to coin a phrase, is asking if I don't fancy doing some 10p hunts. I've done them before on the channel. But generally, pickings are so slim on those. You're left lucky to find one territory, maybe, and a, an alphabet. If you're lucky, maybe two finds in a whole bag. So, filling in all of that um, dead air, almost. There's an interesting coloured Battle of Britain from 2015. Is the Jodie Clark circulated portrait? In through the wars that one we'll put it in the keeper section and put a normal circulated price up there but we won't be keeping that one in that state um but yeah considering we already do a q and a e bit on the 50p and two pound hunts i don't think we'd be able to do the same and copy mr christopher collects on the 10p hunts Maybe it's something we'll do now and again. I think it's the sort of thing where we'd have to go mad on it and get 500 pounds worth or a thousand pounds worth and do a time lapse or a speed it up hunt, you know, but I don't particularly want to carry 500 pound or a thousand pounds worth of 10 P's home. That would be heavy. One bag is pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, maybe it's something for the future. Great suggestion though, thank you. And if you don't know about to coin a phrase, go and check out his channel. Give him some support. He's another coin content creator or coin tuber. Oh, nothing in that bag. Plenty more still to go through though. No Olympics yet. Only a couple of lower tier keepers. Nice to find a territory though. Has been a while. There's a girl guiding from 2010. Again, it's pretty grubby, but being a fairly common coin, not the end of the world. Up the top you go. Twenty fourteen shields. I will check all of these again, as I said before. Right, we've got another question from comment section, and if you want your question answered in a future coin hunt, do leave it in the comments down below and it will appear in two hunts time, two 50p hunts time. We're always one coin hunt ahead. Try and give myself a chance to record ahead when I can get my bumming gear. <laughs> Here's a 2017 without 50 pence on the obverse. So this will be something, won't it? Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Look at the color of it. Wow. What has caused that? It's almost like somebody's deliberately done that. And Isaac Newton though, we don't find those too often. 
and what an interesting coloration to it. I think I do remember seeing these um, multicolored ones on eBay before, people selling them on there. So perhaps it's one of those, or perhaps it's just been left in a pool of tea or something <laughs> to get stained. But that is very interesting. A great find, even though it's a bit defaced, let's say. But stunning stuff. It does have a nice effect on it, doesn't it? Wow. I knew what it was uh, when I could see that there. I didn't want to spoil it though. Of course, we find a lot of these 2017s without 50 pence. And when the point is at the bottom, that's a shield. That's the one we find most often. But when it's a pointy top like this, you know it's a Newton. But didn't want to spoil the surprise. So we spun it and there we go. Look at the color on that. Bizarre. <laughs> Great find though. Right, so yeah, another question. We have one from Allotment Diggers. And he's asking, what is the oldest coin in your collection? And he says his oldest are Celtic, Celtic, Celtic coins dating back to 200 BC. Wow. Well, here's a 2016. Could it be a duck? That would be epic. No, Team GB. Pop that up the top there. It's a huge shame we didn't see the Team GB uh, from last year in circulation. There's a the Battle of Hastings, that's another low tier keeper. 2016, not worth a huge amount, but do change hands for just over face value. The oldest coin in my collection, I believe, is a Roman coin, which I got fairly recently. Um, and I think that was from about 360 AD. And that came from another coin content creator via somebody else <laughs> because Nick Thomas won Coin Patrol's giveaway and won a load of random coins off of him. And in that was a Roman coin. Um, most of the coins were world coins and it's not really what Nick Thomas is into. So, oh, oh I thought that was wheelchair for a minute. <laughs> It's because this was the other one we were stuck on for so long, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> I thought we'd done it. Weightlifting is still a great find. Is an Olympic. Was one that we were stuck on for quite some time. But we did find it in the end. And it's just the wheelchair rugby we need now. Not weightlifting. Getting them mixed up in my mind. <laughs> great find though. In stunning condition as well. Very nice. But yeah, last time we were at the Royal Mint, Nick Thomas kindly gifted the coins to me because he thought I would appreciate them more than he did. So thank you for that, Nick. And that is uh, now firmly the oldest coin in my collection. There's a Roger Bannister four minute mile. Pretty common. So yeah, thanks for that allotment diggers. And I'll have to try and pick up some Celtic coins, see if I can match you up. Oh, look what we've got coming up here. First up, we have a Scouts from 2007. It's another pretty common one, but a nice mix we're having today. Well, let's leave that and see what else is in here. Oh, there's a bag full of commemoratives. Could be anything that. There was, a, there was an Olympic in here. There's only three coins this can be. Commonwealth Games, WWF, and Kew Gardens. Imagine. It's a bag of commemoratives for the most part. Look, there's three Christopher Ironsides there. We haven't found one yet today, so there you go. Three Christopher Ironsides. A dictionary. Another one. Another Ironside. A Benjamin Britten, which is a low tier keeper for us. We keep these. Again, changes hands for just a bit more than face value and a scouting, so that was absolutely jam-packed with commemoratives, that one. There was only eight non-commemoratives in that bag. Right, what's it gonna be? I'm gonna do the old feel the other side. Oh, it's definitely not a Q. WWF, still a great find though. Not a Q, <laughs> but certainly better than a Commonwealth Games. Great stuff, we're doing amazingly well now here. I can't believe I thought we found it. 
some reason in my mind, as soon as I saw it, I thought, that's it, that's the one we need. It was one that we were stuck on for a while, but I found that a little while ago now. <laughs> Still just need that wheelchair rugby. It's out there, we'll find it one day. And when we do, oh, what a beauty. This is a great hunt. Mrs. Tittlemouse, 2018 Beatrix Potter. That's a great, great find. And in pretty nice condition too. Wow. Probably the most valuable find of the day so far. Of course, values, all of the coins will pop up in the top right there. That is brilliant. What a hunt. We've still got one, two, three, four, five, six bags to go. Oh, what was that? Something bunny. Was it Benjamin or Flopsy? There's the tail of Peter Rabbit. 19.9 million of those. Massive minted figure, lots of them around. 2017 with 50 pence on the obverse, so this will be a Potter. It's another Benjamin bunny. Oh, and it was a Flopsy bunny as well. Unreal. What a hunt. Okay, sorry, Mrs. Tittlemouse. Flopsy Bunny is now by far the most valuable find we've had today. What a find, what a hunt this has been. Wow, look at that bottom section, and we're not done. We are not done. You never know with these unsealed bags. You just never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes you'll find absolutely nothing. And then sometimes you'll have hunts like this. Absolutely bonkers. Victoria Cross, the medals there. Haven't seen that one yet today. Cool coin, great design. Four more bags. And I've been sidetracked from my questions we've been finding so much. We have one from Angela, who's another long-term supporter of the channel. Thank you, Angela, for all the support. And Angela is asking a non-coin related question. We love these. Uh, there's a girl guiding as well, 2010, yeah. Uh, and Angela is asking, if you were invisible for 24 hours and could go anywhere you wanted, where would you go and what would you do? Ooh. There's a lot of uh, naughty answers, shall we say, to this one. <laughs> and I'll let you all use your own imaginations for those. Maybe put your answers down in the comments too. Uh, but for me, I'd probably take a chance to do nothing. <laughs> if I'm invisible, nobody can find me to get me to do something or bug me. And I can just sit and do nothing for 24 hours. It sounds like a plan. <laughs> Here's another 2017 tale of Peter Rabbit. Yeah, I mean, go on a tour, go and sneak into the Royal Mint. I mean, you'd struggle even if you were invisible to get in there <laughs> with the access, getting access to uh, the doors and stuff. Right, last bag. Thank you all for sticking with me. I'm sure you would have got your fill of good finds from this one. It's been absolutely brilliant. Smash that thumbs up if you would be so kind. It really does help the channel. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Come and see us again. Let's have a quick run through what we found, shall we? We don't often do this, but let's pull out these, the best ones. Those five there. Oh, absolute beauties. Look at them. Wow. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon for some more coiny goodness. Take care. All the best.